Still recording. Hello everybody, Frank Mondoze here in a post-COVID world. Not quite sure what day it is, what month it is. Does it really even matter anymore when we're stuck at home? Left is right, up is down, good is bad and bad is good. This is the world we're living in today. It's a mixed up, shook up, crazy world. And um, yeah, it's riding time is coming to an end. Leaves are changing, so you could get an idea of time of year here in Montreal, Quebec, Canada. And uh, I decided that as we have very few nice days left, that I will take advantage of this opportunity to ride up north and uh, record as much of the beauty as possible and go into the one place that is still sane, that is still good and healthy which is nature. So I'm going to be spending a day in nature. I'm going to go visit a land uh, in about 90 minutes north of Quebec, north of Montreal, excuse me, that, uh, yeah, I would love to start communing with. So uh, this is my adventure today. So here we go. This is my action cam that I keep on my motorcycle to get those beauty shots. Uh, still learning this technology, brought another camera for my nature shots. It's all play, so welcome to the Spiritual Playboy. run what a gorgeous run the last I don't know 30 minutes to, uh, to this place this land this beautiful land is just absolutely gorgeous and my camera flew off on the highway it unstuck from the bike and flew off I stopped I picked it up and I uh, got back on the road but it was a heartbreak to see all the color and not be able to share it with you it is what it is Last year we dug around the foundation, we repaired it, and we shot it with urethane. Okay. Next year we're gonna finish. So the house was here when you got here? Yeah. It's not like you did it from scratch. No, we didn't do it from but scratch. But the insides yeah. were. Yeah. So this is like a seating area. That's a seating area too. So much room. Okay. Wow, you guys are on, on, on. So now, right now, we are here. This is the tiny house. Mm -hmm. Okay, you came down yep. here. Tiny house, that house, that house. So the land goes from here to here. Wow. And it goes, it goes that way. That's the, that's the direction. So here you have a space for gatherings. I like the idea of it being open. I like I like the stage idea. Yeah. I see it now. <laughs> so this is where you're doing your group activity? Yeah. There's so much space on the land to put a sweat lodge. There's yeah. enough to yeah, be here. Yeah. So this is your first water entrance. <laughs> Wow. Beautiful. Beautiful. You have about six feet over there. 
Here it's like one feet, two feet, two feet, three, four, five. Over there is like six. This is a special forest. It has a different energy. Yeah, it has a different energy. I'll take you to, uh, to the other end afterwards. You'll see the forest there is also uh, very different. That's the future altar. <laughs> Gorgeous. So check, that's my house. You can see it from here and that's the neighbor. Yeah, very nice. I like this. The mountain section must be amazing on the other side. Yeah. Wow. Beautiful. Yeah. These were old insulation. There's a well here, a natural well. Oh wow. So used to they used to drag the water from here to the house. And when did you buy this land? About three years ago. In December it will be three years, November or December. Bro, you look beautiful in your colors. Thank you. And your forest. <laughs> <laughs> so Salam, why don't you tell us about uh, the way you raise this land or uh, with lineage? Mainly I work with the, with the fire. The first year years I, uh, uh, I had no connection to the fire. I and mean, I didn't know uh, what it means to, to have a connection uh, with the fire. I didn't know about like transformation. I didn't know about this. It's element. And uh, my family told me just to gaze in and, and to watch it. And they invi invited me to, uh, to, to work with the wood. I started seeing spirits and sweat lodges in the rocks. And, uh, mm. yeah. and uh, I learned to respect them. And whenever I took medicine and I was looking in the fire, I would, uh, I would kind of uh, have visions depending on uh, what my heart uh, is seeking and uh, what, am I, what am I at in my uh, healing process, I would have something related to, to that in the fire. And slowly I started understanding uh, the meaning of it and uh, the messages that are coming through. And I started understanding between uh, a sacred fire and a regular fire and how to respect it. And uh, I asked uh, permission to have my own sweat lodge uh, for my family. And, uh, they told me and uh, when I complete my uh, four years of vision quest and that's coming in about two years from now and they asked me for a set of things to uh, to prepare uh, and I'm in the process slowly, slowly I, I learned uh, about uh, how we can transform energy through it through the fire through the fire I learned how to uh, how to bless uh, how to bless the land how to bless the water how to assert uh, my ownership on the four corners of this land and mushrooms uh, taught me a lot about uh, about uh, chasing entities away, uh, seeing them, how to see them, with which which eye, how to focus, and uh, how to chase them out. In my li lineage, they have cultivated the energy in the fire for many many generations. When they share you the the energy, every time you do a, a swat lodge, any uh, any time you start you start a sacred fire, you're using that same energy uh, that's been passed on to you. You just add upon it, so you can you cannot come and, and mix it with a different type of energy. As a, a fire keeper, you cannot allow someone else to come on your land and uh, and run his his own fire or his own uh, uh, lineage or whatever he, he brings with him. You're the fire keeper. You're, you're the owner of the land. You have to assert your your place and you have to preserve uh, the energy that's been uh, passed on. So it's important to uh, respect the the teachings and. Uh, uh, all the work that people did over uh, the many years. Uh, if you want to be committed, be committed. If you don't want to be committed, uh, they won't pass you. The, the, they won't pass you. They won't give you a stick in the, in the fire anyway. So that's my journey here um, to come and see this land. It's been a while that uh, Salam and I have been talking about this land, and he's invited me a few times to come and see it and see what he's building here it's gorgeous 60 acres in the north of Montreal about 90 minutes north of Montreal and uh, yeah it's been a weird day it's super enjoyed the ride I had recorded about half of it before 
my camera went flying off on the highway stopped picked it up and the last 20 to 30 minutes of the ride here was absolutely 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 gorgeous I have tons of regret of not being able to show you the colors and the curves and the ride. It was the whole point, one of the other sec the secondary point of this um, visit was to do that and to capture it for uh, spiritualplayboy.com. But it wasn't meant to be, so I released that and um, accept what Spirit wanted for this journey. And so on that note... I remind you to live life like it's your last day be present aware and uh, don't let the fear take over because this is the one life we have on that note let love free it's the only way we'll ever change anything peace mm -hmm.